Hello everyone, this is CY once again. Um, today I'm going to do uh, some coffee roasting with uh, some coffee beans that has been sent to me by my friend Dreth from Australia. Uh, this is actually the coffee plants that's growing at the back of his uh, backyard or his garden. Uh, he sent me probably around 100, uh, around 100 to 150 grams of the coffee cherry with the pulp removed. So right now I've already uh, removed uh, um, the parchment and now I have dried the beans for about two weeks so I'm going to show you in a short while how the coffee bean looks like when it's dried and then because the, the mass of the coffee is probably less than 100 gram so it's going to be very tricky to roast it and uh, I'll probably do a medium to medium light roast on this uh, let's see how I manage the heat and how we control it to, 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 to roast this uh, small quantity of coffee well so wish me luck, let's get on to it. Alright, so as you can see, this is the coffee bean from Australia. Right, uh, it still have the chaff, you can, you can see the chaff very very clearly. Because the chaff I didn't remove, right, you can see if I peel the chaff off, you'll be able to see the coffee seeds that's inside there. So let me try to get one off and show you. Right, so you can see the beans are jade green in colour, very very nice colour, uh, very fresh coffee. Uh, in fact, I think this is, uh, I've dried it for about uh, less than two weeks. I'm growing half of it and I'm, I'm actually uh, trying to roast the other half of it here. So this is the coffee from um, Australia. I do not know the varietal. Um, I'm not too sure whether Draft know the varietal, but uh, maybe I can ask him. So let me weigh how much coffee there is here. Okay, let's tear this. Oh, exactly 60 gram. And I'm using my Kaleido M2 sniper, which is uh, maximum capacity is about uh, 400 gram. Usually I roast on this between 200 and 300 grams. So it's going to be very, very, cha very, very challenging for me to roast. Uh, with such a small mess, but let's give you a try, right? I'm also giving a shout out to Draft who sent me the beans, right? Thank you for it. I hope it sprout in my garden, uh, not my garden, actually my uh, balcony, and uh, hopefully it will sprout and I can grow some coffee trees, and then I can harvest some of this coffee bean, and then uh, let's see uh, in three years time uh, will we are successful or not. Uh, but it has to be uh, the the beans. Uh, that we plant, I'm planted. Uh, hopefully, it will sprout first. Then, in three years' time, it can grow into adult plants where you start to flower. Right, and basically, I'm using uh, my artisan to control my roaster. So, my charge temperature is set at 160 degrees Celsius. Right, uh, fan speed is switched to zero. And then, I'm just going to wait for my uh, um, machine right, to heat up to the temperature that I want. Right. So later on, I will zoom in. Uh, I hope you can see better, right from here, from this angle, right. It's a little bit slanted, but I will try. I'm trying my best to show you uh, what actually happened. So right now, we are just waiting for the temperature to reach 160 degrees, and then we will charge it. Right within a few seconds, my machine is going to beep to tell me that it has really reached the targeted temperature of 160. I'm going to let the uh, temperature hover for. A short while uh, for the temperature to stabilize and then I'll start to charge it and I'll bring my camera closer to s let you see the charging process um, okay why not uh, yeah I think I will record the charging and then I'll bring you back to the screen uh, to show you what uh, what is actually going on right so basically I'm going to charge the coffee there's only one chance which I can't screw up otherwise I'll be wasting the effort that uh, you no know, my bad my good friend from Australia has sent me, so I'm going to drop the beans on top. Right, I'm going to show you right now. Right, my chaff collector. It's uh, okay. Let me just clear this. Right, I have already cleared my chaff chaff collector. So later on, all the chaff will be from this coffee bean. Right, so right now I'm going to start uh, to chart my artisan. So 
So I'm gonna drop it now. There you go. Only 60 gram. So uh, it's gonna be a very small batch, which I have to roast it very, very carefully. All right, so let me bring you bring the camera back. All right, so now uh, once it's crossed one minute, I'll heat up to maybe around 60 to 70 percent. Then I'll slowly increase the heat every 15 seconds. So you can see because it's a it's a very small batch, the turning point will be uh, pretty high which gives me very little time for me to actually control the roasting. So uh, ideally uh, for anything that it's, uh, uh, for any roasters, uh, I think it's better you roast at least 50% of the capacity, it will be easier. Right, so now once you reach turning point, I'm going to increase to 70% of the heating power. Right, so you can see the turning point actually occurs at 100, 111 degrees Celsius, which is very high. I've never seen a turning point so high before and also because of the small mass that we have right so you're going to turn and i'm going to manage my uh rr here right that's the very beginning stage of the roasting which pretty much is just drying the beans up increasing the internal temperature of the beans at this moment everything is endothermic reactions basically the green beans are absorbing all the heat uh to heat up so right now what we what we are trying to do is to send the heat inside as quickly as possible and uh, not too fast but I need to give it enough energy as for you to go through uh, the Maya process and eventually uh, to the first crack so looking good uh, even at 70% uh, heating power my RR is still increasing right now my RR is 14.8 which I'm going to control a little bit so I'm going to increase the heating power to 80% right um, usually for the first stage of roasting, before the Maya reaction kicks in, um, usually I will try to increase the OR to about 15, 16 to 17 and I will maintain it until it reaches the uh, dry end, which is when the beans start to turn yellow color. Uh, when we say turn yellow color, it will be uh, um, probably 70% to 80% of the beans has turned yellow and we call it the dry, dry end. So now it has gone up to about 17, 16. So this is the temperature, the rate of change of temperature I want per minute uh, at the beginning phase. Right now we have just passed the three minute mark. We are approaching three and a half minutes, right? Let's look at the beans now, right? So I'm gonna bring you closer to see the beans. Right, so let's take a look at the color, right? It is still green, as you can see. And you can see the coffee char, the skin is still there. All right, it's turning slightly yellowish in color. All right, so let me bring you back here. Okay, I know this is a very primitive way of uh, showing you the screen, but uh, I will just make do with it. Okay, so uh, the dry end is already charted automatically by Artisan, it's around 147 degrees, which I agree. So right now, I'm going to reduce my heating power to control it around 12 to 11 percent, uh, 11 degrees per minute. Right, so I'm going to drop a little bit, because the bed size is really very small. Right, I want to achieve my uh, entire roasting within about seven to eight minutes for such a small batch size. All right, so hitting 160, I'm going to reduce it a little bit more. Right, okay, I'm, I'm watching my RR to drop. Once it reaches around 10, I'm pretty safe. So if it is still hovering around 12, right, uh, you can see it's not decreasing. I'm going to drop by another 10% uh, of hitting power. Right, so it is still it is coming down, right? As you can see, it's around 12, and I, I have to bring it down a little bit more so that I can stretch the development a little bit longer. Right, the target for today rose is medium to medium light, maybe closer to medium. Right, and I'm gonna try the coffee. 
um, immediately I'm going to make a filter coffee on this and I'm going to tell Dread Draft how it tastes. Right, so now um, the beans is uh, the heat heating aura of the beans is being managed around 10 degrees Celsius per minute. Right, so I would like to drop it a little bit more. So I'll wait for it to reach 175 degrees Celsius, then I'll drop by another 10%. So that I can stretch the development a little bit more. Right, everything is going as planned. Okay, let's check the color of the rose. Okay, I can see there's a lot of chaff clinging on to the beans itself. 6.7, I'm going to increase the fan speed a little bit to try to increase the RR. You can see that the RR is crashing down. Okay, there's not enough heat. Probably I release, uh, I drop the temperature a little bit too drastically. Right, you can see that it's starting to plateau. Right, let's increase to 60% to give you a little bit more energy. At this stage, you may be a little bit too late. Right, you can see that it's still crashing down. So, um, the coffee will not taste fantastic on this. Yeah, because I think with this low RR, it will, the beans usually will tend to be a little bit more big uh, than developed. Okay, I'm pulling back up a little bit. You can see the, the rising up here. All right, so let's check the color again. The beans is pretty small in size actually. Okay, it's reaching around 185. Right, just wait for, wait for a short while. I think my target drop temperature should be around 190 to 192 or 193 in fact. It's interesting that the there's only a few a few crack and the first crack actually wasn't reported. In, okay, let me see the first crack. I didn't actually hear much. Okay, the color is actually pretty dark, so I think I'm going to drop at 190. Right, I'm going to switch over to the cooler over here. <laughs> very, very small batch size. The beans are actually very small. It looks uh, look like the Brazilian beans. Um, quite round in shape. Right, uh, let's try this coffee later on, right? Okay, it should cool re really fast. And I'm gonna weigh this and see how much output do we get. All right, so the bean has been uh, roasted and let me show the coffee shaft that's been collected in the roaster itself. So this is the amount of chaff that's been collected. Right, but if you see the beans itself, there's still quite a bit of chaff that's collected on it, right? So I will try to use my hand to give you a rub, right? And then immediately we're going to try to cup this coffee to see how the taste and the smell of the dry uh, coffee ground as well as the wet coffee uh, ground when we do carving. So let's get to the carving now. Before we go to carving, let me show you the uh, rose profile, right? As you can see, okay, my camera is trying to zoom in, right? This is generally the rose profile. 
right? So um, you can see this is the turning point. There's a dry end, right? And um, the development is around, um, let me see, the development process is only about 6.2%. And uh, the drop temperature is 190 degrees Celsius. And the total rose time is within 8.5 to about 8 minutes, uh, 8 minutes 40 seconds around there. Right, so let's uh, cup the coffee and taste how it goes, see how, how the taste is. Right, before we go to the carving, let's uh, try to measure the color of the rose, which is what we call the rose color by using the electron meter. I figured that this batch of rose is probably around, I would say 70 plus in color. This is very similar to the Kenyan coffee which I roasted. The behavior is very, very similar. Right, it's 80, which is uh, what I've predicted. Right, so between 70 to 80, that's probably pretty much the, the, the rose color. Uh, we call it Actron. Right, so let me weigh 10 gram of this coffee. And then we will check what is the color that is inside. Okay, let's measure 10 gram. This is pretty exciting. Okay, so that's 10 gram. Let's get some water inside because I can see there's quite a bit of chaff there. So uh, where's my where's my spray bottle? Ah, here. Okay. Right. Currently, I'm using a DM54, and my current grind size is the 80, 80. Okay, there's a spice smell of spices. It's a little bit more on the earthy one. Hmm. Yeah, it smells like the five spice powder, right? If you do like Chinese cooking, right? The five spice powder. Yeah, so it's a lot of spices. It could also be because of my roasting, which is um, not ideal. But anyway, let's uh, give you a taste. Exactly 10 gram, so my grinder is actually zero retention. All right, so let's do the carving. So uh, let me try to elevate uh, my tripod to give you a better view. All right, the water now it's uh, around 100 degrees Celsius, so let's uh, start. Right, don't mind the, the weight here. Right, because I didn't I didn't tear it properly. Let's just focusing on the time. Uh, we'll start to uh, break the crust uh, once it reach about four minutes. Let's give you a smell. Oh, the smell seems very similar to my Yunnan anaerobic coffee. It has a like a vanilla kind of smell. The flower smell of vanilla. Okay, let me get my spoon. Oh, the smell is actually pretty nice. I smell a lot of uh, uh, a lot of caramel, caramel sugar. Right, I can smell the sweetness inside there. Right, even though when I grind it, the uh, dry, the dry fragrance smells like spices. Hmm. Okay, this is pretty interesting. I think the coffee is gonna taste good. Hopefully. Right. So um, let's just wait for four minutes. It's around five minutes, so let's break it. Okay.
Okay, right now, um, I think it's a little bit too hot, but I can't, just can't wait to give it a try. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, this is the case whereby the coffee smell better than it tastes. Uh, when I first smell it, it has a lot of spices, very earthy. And uh, when I smell it, when it's wet, it has a very sweet smelling um, fragrance, like a flower, white flower kind of fragrance. But when I drink it, when I slurp it, the sweetness is very, very muted. Right, there's actually not much sweetness to it. So let me try one more time. Ah. Okay, okay, as compared to my Yunnan coffee, the Yunnan coffee is a lot sweeter than this. But of course, I have very limited sample, and the batch size is very small, and I think the first crack wasn't done uh, well. So definitely, the coffee doesn't taste as good. There is a subtle sweetness inside, but um, the sweetness is like a being muted. Right, so, but it is a fun experiment. Um, I hope when my coffee tree grows bigger, I can harvest a little bit more so that I can achieve maybe 200 grams to 300 grams of coffee beans. And then it will be a proper size for me to do coffee roasting on my coffee roasters. So I think that will give me a better uh, or, or in fact, I, if I have a larger sample size, I can roast it at different, uh, at different profile, so that you no, know, um, I can push, I can, I can realize, I can, I can, I can push the, the bean to its potential. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that I'm not giving the beans a good service, because I only have one chance to roast it, and, it, and apparently, I think the roast didn't really go very well, right? Because I think, uh, towards the end of the roast, the first crack is not very pronounced. Uh, and I think there's, there's a, little, a little bit of baking and probably the baking cause uh, the mildness in the taste. So I'm just going to drink it from the cup like this. Now it's about 8 minutes. Okay, the sweetness starts to surface when it cools down a little bit. Right, so I'm going to wait for a short while for the coffee to cool and then I'm going to drink it again. So the temperature, I mean the time since uh, pouring the water, it's, uh, it's about 12 minutes now. So it has cooled down significantly. Right, so let's try again. It's an average cup of coffee. Uh, if you compare to my other rolls, this is considered as bad. But if you compare to the coffee that I drink this morning, um, from one of the chain coffee that start with letter M. You know, the one you get burger from. Yeah, this tastes like heaven. Mm. Yeah, definitely the muted taste from the coffee, but it still tastes better than the burnt and um, a smoky coffee. So thank you for joining us. Uh, sorry being a snob. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I can't just go back. I, I can't go back to drinking those type of coffee again. Uh, yeah, so this is CY. A special shout out to Dref, my friend from Australia, for sending the beans over. Sorry, I didn't do a good job in roasting this batch of coffee. Um, but it turns out all right, not the, not the best, but uh, it's still a drinkable cup of coffee. The smell is very, very herbal, very spice, a lot of spices, a lot of white flower smell to it. Yeah, the fragrance is very good. The, in terms of fragrance, it's very similar to my Yunnan coffee. But the sweetness is not there. I, I think uh, it's probably due to my uh, my my error in probably uh, delaying the process of dropping the beans. So if I drop the beans maybe at 186, 187 degrees Celsius, it could be better. But also because I'm waiting for the first crack to be more pronounced. So as the first crack didn't come in, hence therefore there's a delayed uh, dropping of the beans and hence leads to a little bit of baking. So that actually reduces sugar and the sweetness from the coffee. So thanks for joining. This is you once again.
Um, I will see you very soon and stay safe.